Yo, 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 YouTube, what's up, what's up, what's up? Everybody over here on the Dana J Show, I thank y'all for watching this. I say subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the like button. Even if you don't like me, hit that motherfucking dislike button. You feel me? You feel me? But I'm going to tell you this. They all conspired against me. They came to shut me down. They paralyzed me for a couple days, not knowing that I'm going to sit back and eat steak, shrimp, lobster, and just be real cool about it. And not going to go back at nobody. I'm seeing that shots are still being thrown on the YouTube streets at me, and I ain't even around right now. So, I'm going to send a direct message to those folks out there. I want y'all to know one thing. I ain't never go nowhere. I always been here. But I'm going to let y'all hear my sister, her rawness, and I want y'all to hear every word that she say. Here's one thing I'm going to tell y'all. I'm back. Hey. 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 Now let me ask y'all, where's the realness? An authentic, that's what comes to mind. You ain't bought that street game on out that it flies. You ain't bought that business, man. Who you faking for? Since you trying to stop me now, I'm really making noise now. Here I am trying to think of something creative to say. And y'all saturating microphones, ruining the airways, man. Some of y'all be killing me in the mind. Niggas, are, niggas pretend on these damn streets. They ain't really about that life. They really ain't about that life. So what I'm going to say is this right here. I got I to gotta shout out somebody that I've got to meet, talk on the phone with a long time. And before all the chaos started, you know, everybody was together. But this lady right here has nothing but been consistent, nothing but down to earth. I know people have tried to get to her. Because she have a powerful voice. I want to say this. This young lady I got to spend like six hours with at the last rally. Love her to death. Miss Kimberly, I'm not going to put your last name out there. But she wrote a direct heartfelt message. And the message was to the judge, the honorable judge, Harry B. Lennonweber. She clearly said, dear honorable judge, Harry D. Lennonweber. I, Kimberly, 42 years old, am writing this letter to you as I know Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly's ball bail hearing is quickly approaching. Robert Sylvester Kelly has a strong personality. 
You know what I'm saying? Robert Sylvester Kelly has a strong personality with the desire of self-improvement, especially through the challenges he is facing. I have every confidence that Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly has developed the new skills needed to avoid any bad decisions as well as the people he surrounds himself around. I am also fully aware of the gravity of the of the allegations in this case. Myself and many others have no doubt if bail is granted, Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly will go on to once again being a solid, upstanding figure in his community and all around. I honestly and strongly believe Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly shouldn't be considered a serious risk. If released, as he knows the seriousness of this matter, he has always made a commitment to fulfilling his obligations, which also brings strong confidence that he will comply with any and every conditions of release. Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly would keep his word, face his obligations, and honor his responsibilities as he meets his challenges head on. It is my hopes this letter regarding Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly and his case will act as a positive and contributing factor when the court considers this matter. Sincerely, Kimberly. I'm going to say this, Kimberly. You have always been an upstanding woman. Since the time I met you across the phone, to the various groups that you've been in, to the groups that I've had, to the group now that you're in that I hold with no drama. Um, I want to say keep your head up high. I want to say as time approaches, God hears all of our hearts. Everybody that rocks or robs 24-7, God hears all our hearts. And I want you to say, Kimberly. Every night, I want you to say this one thing. If you put it in the atmosphere, it shall come to pass. So say, Lord, do it. Don't say nothing else. Lord, do it. And whatever your heart has, the Lord shall hear and grant. Just say, Lord, do it. In spite of what it looks like, there's victory. Nah. So say, Lord, do it. As I, I mean, I'm going to say, I don't know what God these other people on these YouTube streets uh, uh, serve or trust, but the God I serve never let me down. Nor have he forsaken me. It's a reason why all this is going on. And I'm thankful. Nevertheless, Kimberly, you know that God is a way maker. So with that being said, we don't have a lot to talk about. We don't got a lot to say. We can just say, Lord, do it. <laughs> and a lot of people don't understand. Because when you say, Lord, do it. The only thing they can talk about is, what is the Lord going to do? Well, I'm going to say this. The Lord only have one thing to do. While this time is going on, the good Lord is just going to sit back and clean his house. Until next time, remember, Dana J loves all of y'all. As y'all listen to this, focus. It's the remember, God loves you all. You don't have to get great. To be, you don't have to be great to get started. I'm calling but you have you to get started to be great. Father. Be someone important. Down on my knees. Say I call you. on you no matter the hour. Lord, I'm in need. I've been messing up. Done lost my house. Done lost my job. Why walking out? These church folks say they my friends, but I'm all they talk about. I've been doing.
sipping on something to drink, drink, ah. The enemy's got the best of me, yeah. And I gotta do something quick before I go crazy. Too many voices in my head so loud I can't even think. Oh, my friends and family are gone. My life is going so wrong. Give y'all a little bit. I know that it seems sometimes that no matter what you do, and no matter how hard you work, striving to make things better in your life, but for some reason you're not getting nowhere. Well, I want you to turn to the one next to you and tell him you tried your way. Hey! 
trying to get your attention right now. I'm trying to tell you something. I know you got your own plan, but God's got a better one. No. So long. To everybody that support Roberts Mr. Kelly, keep support. Don't forget the R. Kelly Defense Fund. Don't forget the dollar for the king. Don't forget to say a prayer for Roberts Mr. Kelly as he prepares for battle. As he have given God everything. 
Now he's standing firm and planted while all of his enemies fall. Remember, you don't have to be great to get started, but you have to get started to be great. Remember, God loves you. So do I. And remember, be somebody important. Be yourself. Until next time, God bless you.